Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Weight Loss Center on day one, day three of the cleanse. It's day three for me, it's day one for you. I just introduced it yesterday, but whatever the case may be, life is good. So Ralph, what do you do? Day one, what do you do? First of all, you drink lots of juice. <laughs> Apple and grapefruit, fresh squeezed, delicious, delicious. Anyway, day one. Well, first of all, you need a juicer. First of all, you need a juicer, guys. And all of this is in my book, True Power Juice Cleanse, which can be got at my website for 10 bucks, or you can go to the email at the end of this video, send me an email, PayPal me 10 bucks, and I will attach to your email today. It is an ebook, okay? I show you the, uh, the bound hard drive and all that, but it's, it's an ebook. Okay. Day one. Guys, you gotta have a juicer. And juicer, guys, I'm telling you, man, there is a lot. <laughs> there are lots of juicers out there. And guys, I'm not a connoisseur of juicers. I, I run a fishy ando. I am absolutely not. Uh, and I'll tell you what. I have been juicing for a long time, a long time. Juicing is an integral part of my life and I am going to be juicing for a lot longer than this, okay? Now, what I have come across is this. I've got one that works great for me and I've got one that was terrible for me, okay? There's lots of different things. You can spend a fortune on these juicers. Okay, and if you want to, knock yourself out. But here's the deal. You are, even though you're all gung-ho and you think you're going to do this, and you're going to follow Ralph and you're going to get his book and all this sort of stuff. Guys, you might not choose not to do this. You might do a couple days and say, screw this, this is not for me. And if you spent $2,000 on a juicer, which you can, there are restaurant-level juicers, man, that you can go up and, and buy the same juicer they use at Jamba Juice, you know? And if you've done that, well, you're going to get mad at me, blah, 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 and this is not what I... Guys, there is no reason to do that. Now, I'm going to put a picture up on the screen. Guys, all you have to do is go to Amazon or anywhere. Get a Hamilton Beach Junior. The cheapest juicer, the cheapest one they have is $59.99. I don't know the actual serial number or the model. The cheapest one they have is $59.99. And Amazon can have it to you the next day. It, it's the best way to go. It holds up. Guys, I do a lot of juice. I juice for my wife. I juice for my daughter. I'm doing anywhere from two to three gallons of juice every single morning. Okay? And this thing holds up. Absolutely holds up. Now, do they have a lifespan? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm getting about two years per juicer. And for $59.99, that's a lot of years and a lot of juicers that I'm gonna that I'm gonna have until I actually you know spend more money than the two thousand dollar thing I did. You know, see what I'm saying? It's fun. Guys, and if your needs are different, if you want to go get a Vitamix or whatever the case may be, knock yourself out. But I'm thinking until you're sure that this is gonna be an integral part of your life. And if you're sure that you are going to have to make enough juice for your family and all this sort of stuff that warrants a, a better one or a more expensive one or a bigger one or one with a bigger motor or something like that, that's fine. But I'm saying for this point, get the Hamilton Beach, $59.99. And if you decide this time next week you don't feel like doing this anymore, what have you lost? See what I'm saying? And the thing will hold out. It absolutely will hold out. And I told you that there is one that I would not get. And again, there's such thing as lemons. I've heard, the, I've heard different horror stories a lot about this particular juicer. And they're even hard to find anymore. Okay, so you're probably not gonna get one anyway. But I had a, th I would say three years ago, I bought a Jacqueline juicer. They were on sale for $79.99. I just happened to pass it in uh, Coles or something like that. So I grabbed it, okay? 
I like Jack Lloyd. I like his message when, when he was with us and all this sort of stuff, so I bought it. When I tell you, when I bought that thing, one carrot, I swear to God, one carrot into my first juice, the thing blew up. I'm not kidding. There's smoke everywhere. I had to open the windows. One carrot into it. My opinion. My opinion. Do not waste money on a Jack Lane juicer. Okay? You've got your juicer. Now, the act, you're going to go through a lot of fruits and vegetables. And that can get a little pricey. There's absolutely no question about it. That can get a little pricey, but it doesn't happen. Now, first of all, organic. Organic is better. There's no question about it. But with the amount of fruit and veggies you're going to go through to, ju the, to juice, that's going to be expensive. Now, if expense is not an issue, go organic and don't think it twice about it. I have gone conventional a lot. Okay, there's a couple reasons. First of all, especially when you're doing the melons and stuff like that, the melons, the watermelon, the, you know, that type of thing, the, uh, everything. the pesticides and everything that you are so worried about by getting organic get caught in the rind, okay? And the bananas, it gets caught in the peel. The fruit is, for the most part, not affected by the chemicals and pesticides and everything you put into it. You're not going to juice bananas anyway, but that's what I'm talking about. Okay? Now that is true with just about every single fruit you can get. Much of the pesticides and everything in an apple, in an orange, in everything are in the uh, are in the uh, the rind, the peel. Okay? When you take the peel off the orange, the fruit is pretty much good to go. Then you go the next step and you just get the juice out and all the pulp and everything. There, it's very, very, research shows it's not that affected by the garbage. Okay? So don't be afraid if money is an issue to go conventional. Now, here is what I do to this day. I did it last Sunday when I, when I bought my fruits and veggies for the cleanse. So I know Stop and Shop. I have two Stop and Shops near us, the big warehouse Stop and Shops. You know, each one of them has reduced produce. And I'm telling you what, guys, these stop and shops are just throwing money out the window with this reduced process. First of all, bananas. You're not gonna juice bananas, but anyway, bananas. Bananas are ripe when they have brown spots on them. But stop and shop and all these stores cannot sell them. People don't want to think that they're dirty or something. They don't know that they're actually ripe. And they will throw away perfect perfectly wonderful. Some, some bananas that aren't even ripe yet. If they're green up at the stem, guys, they are not ripe. And I get bananas cents on a dollar. I mean, 49 cents a pound, normally they're going for. I'm getting it for like 19 cents a pound. I get all the bananas I want. In it. Okay? The reduced produce. Apples, they have a bruise on them. Bruise, guys, remember, you're getting the juice. You're not eating a bruise. If you want to cut the bruise off, now, a worm or something, that, that's a different thing. And, and, you know, fruit and vegetables can go bad. There's no question. And if that's the case, you don't want them. But if there's just a bruise on an apple, cut it off if you want, and, and you got the apple. Oranges, same thing. Oranges, you can go conventional. Just like watermelon. Get the Don't spend the extra on the, uh, the orange. Uh... Berries. Berries do not, berries, uh, now, berries, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, they're very expensive. If you're talking juice, you are talking four or five dollars for just, you know, a little bit of juice. I would suggest if you're going to, if you're going to, if you want bang for your buck, apples for sure, oranges for sure, grapefruit for sure. Another one with a thick skin, you just pull it off and you don't have to go conventional. Tangerines, all those are wonderful. Grapes are another one. A lot of juice. You can get a lot of juice from grapes. Okay, bananas, you're not gonna, you're not gonna. Uh, watermelon, a little pricier than what I just said, but needless to say, you're getting a lot of juice from it. Okay. Yeah, 
go and get the reduced produce and don't sweat that there's a bruise on it, okay, or a spot on the banana. You can save an exorbitant amount of money doing that, guys, exorbitant amount. I am, when I'm juicing, I am living on approximately 40 to $50 a week, just juicing. You want to go off the juice, you want to eat have banana smoothies, you want to have rice. Guys, I'm eating like a pig, three, four, five thousand calories a day, depending on how I work out, how much I work out, for $60, $70 a week. It can be done very, very cheaply. You just got to know what you're looking for. So get your Hamilton Beach, go down, and again, if your, if your store does not have the reduced produce section, talk to the manager. Tell them, look, I, I, I'm thinking of doing some juicing. Is there any way I can get a deal on some of these reduced produce or bruised apples or something? Ask them. All they can say is no. All right? Anyway, that's it. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Love you all.